And that's why the Lord doesn't judge by individuals. The Lord judges by nations. This Bible, it has nothing to do with your personal life and your personal relationship with Jesus. That's not what this Bible is about. This Bible is about nations, nations of people. And the Lord judges people by nations. You understand? Yeah. It's all throughout the Bible. Uh, you I had mean, a question, brother? And what our ancestors went through as slaves and whatever, I, I really feel they want us to have that. Say, say that part again. What our ancestors went through as slaves right. and whatever, Jim Crow and shit, yeah. I'm pretty sure up in heaven they want us to have that. Have I, what? I know, whatever. It's, uh, reparations is more to it. They, they, they want us to have this. Yeah, get the Bible. Yeah. Whatever. You absolutely right. Get it, brother. Hey. That's what you understand. This is why you ever notice when we talk about slavery, we be like, man, they hung us. You know, you don't ever notice when black people talk about slavery, the things that happened in old. They like, man, they had us in slavery. They hung us. You ever notice why do we say us when we've never been hung? Yeah. And they do babies in the swamp. Now listen, they did. But listen, what's your name, brother? My name is Maurice. Maurice, now, li now listen, feel this for, for a second, Maurice. I want yeah. you to really listen. Yeah. As we talk about slavery, we say they did this and they did that to us. But that never happened to us. So why do you think we say that happened to us? Because in spirit, we know that that did happen to us. Because we are our forefathers and foremothers. What they did to our forefathers and foremothers is what they did to us. You understand? The Bible talks about it. This is why we got to come to class in the ISUPK. Because you don't know the Bible talks about reincarnation. You didn't know that when you die, you don't go to heaven. Heaven is a condition. Hell is a condition. You understand? When you die, your spirit decomposes. Your body decomposes and your spirit goes before the Lord and he judges your spirit and he puts you back in the earth in a new body. Yeah. That's that's the process of life. Yeah. Everything that dies comes back to life. Yeah, they that's how everything happens. So, you know, we, we, they promised us 40 acres of the moon. Mule. Uh -huh. Bullshit is about that. Our ancestors were refugees. Yep, I listen. And they promised us a lot of things. Listen. And you know what? They promised the Native American brothers all types of things. They, they broke every tree. They bullshitted the Native Americans, just like you said. Exactly. And this is why when we call the white man a devil, yeah. that's what we mean. Uh, because yeah. the word devil means deceiver. That's and he right. deceived blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Yeah. And he's still deceiving us. That's so right. We believe that. We want to try to get a white man to somehow, you know, be our friend and think he, 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 your relationship with this one white man is going to change the world. It don't work like that, brother. If it did, it would, we would change the world. Because black people, we accept everybody. Black people, when have we ever not accepted somebody? We accept everybody. The problem is everybody doesn't accept us. That's the problem. You see the problem in that? Yeah. Black people will love everybody. Yeah. We'll bring white people over to our house, let them be around our kids, smoke cigarettes with them, watch the game with them, share our food, all the snacks. You understand? Go to their church every now and then. Go watch their kids. But the problem is it's never reciprocated. They will never do for us what we have always done for them. White man, a white man right now couldn't even get on his knees and kiss the boots of the children of slaves. They can't do it. When our people stay on our knees serving, you say you speaking for him? No, I'm not. I don't so how you gonna say they will when you, is he gonna do it? So he, he gonna kiss the boots. I don't, I'm not asking. So he said, "What's your name?" I'm not gonna get I'm white man. Mr. White man said he's not gonna do it. Don't speak for him, Jamar. I'm not speaking Because you're trying to make them good when they can't be good. They can't change, Jamar. I'm not speaking for him. The white man will never be not be who he is. He's a devil, Jamar. Ah. He's a devil. Yes. And he's yes. never gonna love us, Jamal. Yes. He's never gonna be but sorry. He's, he's never gonna be sorry. But he is white. Yeah, he well, is white. He Listen, you trying so hard to save these he goddamn devils, it. Jamal. It's sad, he brother. Because if you had that much he energy for to trying to save That's us, brother, we would together will be paradise. That's all I am. If you had that much energy to save black people, together will be paradise. He was gonna apologize. Man, no, he wasn't. I had to give him a chance and he didn't apologize. He was gonna apologize. To hell with him, man. He he's a devil, Jamal. He don't need to apologize. You know why? He don't need to apologize, because guess what? This man needs to be, this man He's not going to change apologize. what God is going to do. Read that again. Apologize to you. This is why it don't matter if he apologize. I'm going to show you it don't matter. Read. Uh, do you feel like you deserve an apology for the way you've been treated in this country as a so-called black man? This is why he don't have to apologize, yes. Jamal. He said yes. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. I want to know about Prepare slaughter 
with for his children, with y'all hatred, for the iniquity of their father. He, he said, "Our hatred drove that away." He he was you, want, you, you want them to be a part say, of us so bad. No, How do we give white people enough? No, God you damn, want them to be a we we let Eminem be the greatest rapper in the world. You, you understand? Justin Timberlake is the king of soul. You did it. Elvis Presley is the king of rock and roll. We didn't gave you. these white people everything, Jamal. God damn it. it. You want to give him everything. You want to give him everything. You want to give him the mic too? Tell him come back. You, you, want, you want to have the mic too? <laughs> come on, Jamal, man. man Elvis, Can we have something for ourselves? Can we man, just for once have something for That's you know, what I'm saying. You know this woman Why do we have to accept everybody? You know this woman Nobody accepts us, but we accept everybody, and that's why we're on the bottom. Because black people love everybody when they don't love us. That's why God has to be a father and protect you know his children. Because the children are stupid. And the children will keep going back to the playground and getting their lunch money taken and getting their tail whooped. But the father has to say, listen, don't go around him no more because every time you go around them, they keep abusing you and manipulating you. That's what a good father does. And that's what the Bible is. The Bible is God telling black people, you shouldn't be around these people because they're disgusting and they take advantage of you. You shouldn't be with a white woman like Kanye West. And look at Kanye West now, crying with his silly self, all on social media. Because Kanye didn't know that God says black men shouldn't be with white women. You know why? Because white women use black men. And Kim Kardashian used Kanye West's big head self. And now he all on social media looking like a fool. And I want to feel sorry for him, but I can't. You understand? Because Kanye heard what we bringing out, and Kanye refused to acknowledge that what God says is best for our people. Right. Not how we feel, but what God says is best for his people. And the moment... The Tell moment that we choice. follow God, you will see our lives be completely different. Tell me about what you Black people, we don't want to follow Tell God. We want to do what the hell we want to do, and that's the problem. Tell me it doesn't you work. That your it doesn't about. work. You understand what you said, Jamal? Tell me what you do that you shouldn't do. And I, I probably should have entertained you as long as I have. No, you can't and I might get checked for it later on, but listen, it's for the people's sake. But I'm asking you, what have you done that you know that you should turn away from? That's the thing. When we come in here, we don't I live those type of lives. I'm telling you, we, because that's we don't look as individuals. We are people. The question is, what are you doing now that you should stop doing? Is the question. What I should stop doing? What should you stop doing? I should stop getting mad that you pissing me off. What else? That's it. That's it. You perfect. I just gave you an imperfection. How perfect? What else? I'll tell you, I'm going to ease it for you. Did you grab a flyer yet? I gave you one, you give me one. I'll tell you, I just told you. I gave you one, I said I probably should have entertained you that long. You said probably. That's not a say. You didn't say what the same Did you grab a flyer yet? Jamal, grab a flyer, man. Don't don't make, no, for real, don't make all this be for nothing, for real. Y'all call me. I don't got your number, what you talking about? Brother, uh, brother Jonathan. Brother, grab a flyer, man. No, grab a flyer, I don't know. I don't know, you talking about somebody else. Just grab a flyer, the number on the bottom. But don't let none of this be for nothing. You understand? Because you seem like you a real good brother, for real. Seems like it, I am. Well, I don't know you, so I have to say sin. Uh, obviously. Yeah, that's why you gotta get a fly so we can get to know you. And find out for sure, oh, this nigga is a good brother, like you I said. It, 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 we are niggas. No. You have to say niggas in the Bible. No. You didn't know that, did you? No. Niggas in the Bible. Oh, yeah. Why you not a nigga? Because that's a white man's term. You sure? And they, and they was trying to say that goose, which is who I am. Uh, and they couldn't say it. I hear you. Give me Acts 13 and 1. They couldn't say it. The word nigga is old, brother. It always been called. Black people have always been called nigga because what does what, what nigga, nigga mean? What does nigga mean? What does the word nigga mean? Really, it's spelled. Huh? Really, really it's spelled with nope. one, one G. Not it's two spelled. G. What does the word nigga mean? It's not, it's not huh? like it's, it's, it's not like Say it again, brother. Stop, stop, wait. He, that, that, he that, know. That, that, that means king, the black king, nigga. king, the Negro, yeah, Negro. You know? yeah. Niger. Yeah. It's all the root word for black. That's all it means. No. But of course, we have a negative connotation no. with it because the white man said it. Thank no, you, sister. That's a white man word. And we should be nasty when he says it. White man word. When a white man say nigga, it don't they sound the same the when a brother say nigga. I understand. They made the word. But nevertheless, brother, me and you are niggas, and Christ was a nigga. Every every man in this Bible was a nigga. And nigga's not a negative thing. You just hate. You said what? He said I'm trying to get beat up, brother. 
Brother, we've never been worried about that, brother. Why you be saying we? We've never been worried about that. Why you be saying we? Because I'm not out here by myself. This brother right here, he you understand? Read. I'm going to show y'all niggas, right niggas right in the Bible. I'm going to show y'all in the Bible. Read. It's the book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 1. Now, there were in the church that was in Antiochus. Now, this is reading about the schools that were set up by Paul. You want me to read that? Yes. Are you going to listen? Did you grab a fly yet? Did you grab a fly? I'll read it. I'm going to grab some of the past one or somebody. You should. That's, that's cool. Don't give it to no white man, though. Because he can't come to our classes. This is for God's people. We got to have something for ourselves, goddammit. You understand? Now, I'm going to show you nigga is in the Bible. Right? Read. Oh, God. This is the book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 1. Now there were in the church that was in Antioch certain prophets and teachers. Now this is reading about the history of how Paul established the schools in Asia Minor. Read it one more time. I got you. Let me read it again. You understand? Paul was a prophet, you understand, that spread the word of Christ. These were all black men. Keep in mind that this Bible were written by black people for black people. 13 verse 1. Now there were in the church that was in Antioch certain prophets and teachers. Now there were in this school certain prophets and teachers. Black men. Keep reading. As Barnabas and Simeon that was called Niger. Now these prophets and teachers, in particular Barnabas and Simeon, two black men, they were called what? Niger. Spell that word. N-I-G-E-R. Right. What does the word not, Niger mean? That's not you just what, shut, what? That, that means you're a king. Listen. That's right. What, that's that's the root word in Niger. What does it mean? Niger. What does Negro mean? Negro is Spanish for black. What does Negra mean? What? Negra. Negra. That's the same thing. Black. Right. It's all the same thing. These prophets of old were called the same thing we call today because the prophets have always been niggers. And you shouldn't run from being called a nigger. Because every man of importance in this Bible is a goddamn nigger. King Solomon was a nigger. David was a nigger. Moses was a nigger. All the niggers is niggerly, niggerly, niggerly. Don't run from it, brother. Goddamn it, Christ is gonna save us because we niggers, man. And you should love it. You should love it. Don't let white people make you feel ashamed. Nigger this and nigger that, man. To hell with the white man and what he feels. Don't, don't run from it. Don't run from black, being black, and the things that are us. They say they want to hear that raw shit. These niggas claiming that they bullshit.